Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet. Outside of Dollar Tree, I am very excited to go in and check out what's new because I've been seeing it all over Instagram and it's about time. I've been waiting to go because the kids are out of school. It's just been one of those things. I don't know how many stores I'm gonna land in today. I usually do three to five, sometimes six. I might, I might hit them all up, we'll see. Let's go inside, I'm gonna show you in a shop with me at Dollar Tree. So I ended up going to six different stores for this shop with me. I just had to make sure that I saw as much as possible. And for this one, we're gonna need a cart because I am going to have a big haul after this video to show you too. So let's get started with all of the new Valentine stuff. This is the best time of year. So many pretty things. I love these boxes. We've been seeing these for every holiday. They're great for decorating around the house. You could put some flowers in here. You can use them to wrap your Valentine's gifts. We also have a whole bunch of mail boxes each of these the boxes and the mailboxes they come in different sizes as well as different styles so if you need something smaller they'll have that if you need a bigger one they will have that too lots of different signage this year all of these have different phrases on them some of them come in different colors these are things that you would just display you know your little trinkets for Valentine's Day and they had some really cute styles all kinds of different colors and themes these would always make really great gifts as well and then you can use them year after after year. Some of these are repeated from last year's Valentine's Day, but many of them are new styles that I'm just seeing this year. They even had a section for pets, which I thought was really cute too. The book stacks are a repeat from previous years and we've also seen them in other holidays. They're super cute. These little doormats are fun, although I'm not sure if they're 100% functional, but they are adorable, I have to admit. We have some tabletop desk decor and the heart-shaped lace mats in two different colors, which we have seen every year for probably the past 10 years I've been filming these videos. The lawn decor hasn't come out very much in this particular store, but I'll keep an eye out for it in some of the other stores that I shop in. All right, so now we're getting on to the Valentine's Valentine's Day little trinkets. These are pull apart cards. There's little cars on them or dinosaurs. We have the painting sets that come with the easel, the paintbrushes, and the paints. I'm a big fan of these. These make really great gifts and they're a lot of fun. Always make sure to look behind them so you can see if there's a different styles. Maybe you might find a picture that you like better. Here's some more of those little boxes. I've actually used these to give some Valentines to my kids and we can use them over and over again. And then they had the Valentines boxes, you know, the kind that you use at school for the kids to mail each other Valentines. They had some of those kits this year and they're really cute. They don't come with the boxes so that you'll have to find yourself. But I found these in different styles, a shark, a cat, a unicorn. I just might have to do a a Dollar Tree toy test on those. Lots of different pencils, really nice styles this year in different colors. These little heart-shaped notebooks are repeats year after year after year, except they just change the covers on them. We have some felt stickers in heart shapes, which are nice. These are little whack balloons You pop them up and then they fill with a chemical reaction. The heart rings, big fan of these for sensory bins. And then they have these new little bouncy balls that had some hearts inside of them. There's pom-pom garland, little jars of heart shapes shaped putty, not a fan of these, but they are cute with the little googly eyes. This is a little cake topper that says love. Some more of these little trinkets, which are nice texture for sensory bins. Just don't get them anywhere near your hair. They will get tangled. Scratch and reveal cards. I haven't tried these. I might put these in a toy test too. These looked pretty interesting where you scratch the design appears underneath. Lots of different stickers. and then also window cleans. This one is new this year. It is a Valentine's Day bingo. Comes with 20 cards inside. I found this in two different styles. It would be fun to use this with some candy hearts as your bingo markers. These little bags are also a repeat, the heart-shaped ones in red. They also sometimes come in pink, although I haven't seen those. The canvas bags with all the little pink hearts on it too. I think these are a new style this year. Mini Valentine's Day pails are great for dumping and pouring or putting a little candy treat inside. We have some larger canvas bags that come to, to a package with pink hearts and red hearts. Then we have your standard treat bags and all of your cellophane treat goodie bags that you can use to give away Valentine's. Found some more mailbox kits. These are meant to use with like a tissue box size or a shoe box size. I think this is a really fun idea, except you need to find the box elsewhere or find one in your closet with some shoes that you might have purchased recently. Lots of different styles on this one. I see a little gnome in a car. There was also a a rainbow and a dinosaur.
We have some accessories to wear on Valentine's Day, a package of necklace, headbands, there are even little Valentine's Day scarves. These glasses, well, they're not really glass, but they are plastic, they are cute, they have some Valentine's Day theme on them. And then they have the ones with the straw and the lid in a couple different colors there. The fortune cookies are a repeat from a previous years. We have some table scatter, but this is actually new. There's little kisses in there, little lips. We haven't seen the lips before, we have seen the heart. So this is actually a new find. Another really good one for sensory bins or tinker boxes. We have some dish towels, some crazy straws that are shapes of heart, and lots of different containers. I actually have a lot of containers to show you in this video. I do like those heart buckets. I think that's really pretty. We have matching napkins and then matching plates. Here is a look at some of the decor. Lots of garland, tons of garland and really pretty colors. We have some fake flowers here, some roses. That's kind of pretty. A little date night plaque that you can spin and find out what you're going to do on your date night. And then some wreaths and hanging decorations. Candy is in full effect, you guys. I'm not going to show you all the candy, but I will kind of go over a few of the things that I saw that I thought were interesting, including the chocolate heart boxes. We have some junior mints in the Valentine's Day theme. They actually are hearts with some red inside. And then of course, let's not forget socks. The seasonal socks are a must. They are a win. They are great. I like those a lot. We have some Sour Patch Kids. Look at these, they're little sour hearts. I like those. And then we have your standard ones here in heart shapes too. My kids really, really like the Sour Patch Kids. I kind of do too, to be honest. We have some hot tamales in heart shapes and some more Sour Punch. These are just really fun finds that are probably a really good price compared to somewhere like Target. Here's the part of the video where I show you all of the really pretty signs and decorations that they have at Dollar Tree. Just so you can get an idea of what you might find in your store. I'll put up the music and I'll be right back. talking a lot about sensory bins in this video because that's what I like to do. Lots of sensory play. These little rose buds would be perfect for that. I'm going to also show you the loose rose petals in a minute. But these come in a couple of different colors. And then we have all the Valentine's Day crafts. Can't go wrong with the foam hearts to decorate. We have tinseled garland in different colors, the hot pink, and then also the red. The little love stones are so cute. They're little rocks that you can paint. Comes with the paintbrush and the paints and a couple of different designs. And then we have the wooden painting kits, which are pretty much a standard at Dollar Tree at this point. There's hanging ones, standing ones. They also come with the paint and our markers. I am a fan of the wind chime ones. I think it's just something really different. We've tried one of these kits before and had a lot of fun with it. And they had a couple of different styles that were really interesting. We have some felt finger puppet kits. There are three different styles of these and they are just adorable. I would highly recommend using a good glue if you're going to use these just so that they stick together really well. The pom pom kits are a lot of fun too. And the other heart craft kits because they come several to a package. So if you have a school group or a church group or a babysitting group or daycare, it's just nice to have a kit that has all the pieces and all you have to do is put it together. Baker's twine is also a staple at Dollar Tree, but this time in the Valentine's Day colors. Get an extra packet for Christmas later on this year. Just saying. We have some signage too. The galvanized signs are also a popular item. Look behind for some other styles. We have some DIY stickers, some more of those gel cleans and some heart shapes that you can use on on Windows. Really, really loving all of the sticker options. I mean, these are great for Valentine's. They're really great for mailing a letter or making some pretty awesome Valentine's Day art table scatter and some really cute woodland animals. There's cupcakes and there's hearts. Love all the table scatter. Down in the very corner, I found some really cool spools of beads, beaded string in a couple different colors, although not a lot comes on the spool. These are scratch off stickers. I haven't used them before. I'm very curious about these. I actually saw them in a couple of different colors and sizes. Then here are those loose rose petals that I was talking about. Instant sensory bin filler for those. And then we have some more signage here. I don't know what it is about Dollar Tree, but they just love to make this home decor and signage. It's like their bread and butter right now. These little guys are clips that you can decorate and paint your own. Great for doing some fine motor work or just for a decoration. Wood signage that you can paint and then wreath forms. Oh my goodness. Dollar Tree is really going on those reforms. Tons more of those petals in different colors. 
And then this stuff I love to use and cut up in sensory bins too. Once you have all the colors, you can reuse this over and over and over again. Every year you can mix colors. It's just a lot of fun and a great texture. Spools of ribbon in a large size. We have the craft jars. You can make some really fun sensory bottles with those craft jars and some family signs that you can paint and decorate. I think there's one in here that says gather too. Yeah, there it is. And we have the picks for making your reefs and some more of those clips, this time in heart shape, roses, and some smaller foam roses. I've used these in some tinker boxes before and I like them a lot. Some heart shape picks, you can use these in decor or you can cut off the hearts and use them in a tinker box. We have some felt roses and some other different colors and styles. And then these were from my sheer little sequenced shape in all different styles. I don't know what it is, but I am a sucker for these little self stampers. I think you can do so many activities with this and it's such a sim simple tool and a lot of fun for the kids. These baking cups are really, really cute too. They are a repeat from last year. Can't go wrong with those. A little glimpse at the bags that they have, some tote bags and some of the gift bags. I think Dollar Tree really nails it with the gift bags. A classic plastic red candy heart jar, sensory bin, dump and pour fillers, putting your conversation hearts in, giving as Valentine's. And you're also gonna see a lot of the home decor brought to the front of the store if it's red or white. It just kind of matches the whole theme, so they try to sell you on it. I think these are left over from Christmas, but they do have a lot of different gift selections for the bath, lotions. If it's red and pink, it's gonna be up here at the front. And then they have lots of different like spa-like pampering items. I'm not huge on these because I don't necessarily know what's in them but if you have a favorite you need to let me know these little heart gels would actually be a really fun sensory tool I think they're really cute check out the date dice of what to do together roll it and get an idea <laughs> there's a couple of different ones on here kind of fun to read and to look through some more bath bombs these are XOXO's and in heart shape and then we have some really cool containers I think that the containers are really good this year for Valentine's Day these say different things on them oh let's not forget about the heart-shaped muffin tin. Put this in a giant sensory bin, dump and pour. Use it to actually bake something, make some melted crayons in it. I don't know, lots of ideas on that one. Like this little glitter heart dish, I think that is really pretty too. Some more of the towels, although I think these are best left for decoration and not for actual use. I don't know how heat resistant they really are. Lo and behold, in one store, I found the heart-shaped measuring cups in two different colors. Only found it in one out of six stores, so I think this might be a hard to find unicorn item. Same with these little silicone hearts, which would be great for making some water play with, some colored ice cubes. Once again, only saw these in one out of the six stores, so I'm hoping more stores get them. Another one out of six stores were these paper cups. Look how cute they are, they're little coffee cups, which might be fun. But once again, it is a unicorn item. Heart garland here that links together with some little wooden hooks. We have some more wooden trinkets, which would be great for dough boxes and tinker boxes. I make those Play-Doh kits. I might have used some of these last year. I'll put a video up here in the corner for you to go check out of a Valentine's Day themed dough cut. Oh, we have some ribbon too in this smaller sizes. A store had a lot to choose from. Not every store had all the ribbon though. I will have to say that. We have some fun things that you can paint and decorate. I like these because they have the light inside. It's just a really fun item to gift someone. We usually do that around Christmas time with the Christmas ones. Look at all the little stuffies, some really cute ones like the little cupcake. There's even a donut back here that I thought was adorable. This time of year, you're gonna see a lot of these in every store, all kinds of different stuffed animals for Valentine's Day. And if you do Valentine's Day and you need a card, they have the specialty cards. All of these are $1. But if you go to the card section in the back, you can find the ones that are still two for a dollar. These are just a little bit upgraded because they're not the flat cards. They all have this kind of, I don't know, like homemade look to them. So they cost just a little bit more than the ones that you'll find in the back. But get them early because they will sell out pretty fast. I did get a couple, I'll have to show you in my haul.
We have some gift tissue in the Valentine's Day colors, although I just think white is fine if you need some gift tissues. And then we have some more of those buckets that I found at another store, but then I also found the matching plates and napkins. I really like this large size. It's almost like a popcorn bucket, but you could put a whole bunch of things in there and make a really pretty gift. We have our champagne flutes here with hearts on them, and then more of those acrylic glasses and also the ones with the straws. Check out all the gnomes, you guys. It is a lot. <laughs> this store had a whole entire shelf dedicated to gnomes. So if you like gnomes, they got them in the Valentine's Day colors. They are kind of cute though. We have more of those containers that I wanted to show you. I like the heart-shaped bucket. I think this is so cute. They even had some with some heart-shaped cutouts. And then these little baskets are pretty cool because they actually come two to a package. I like this rectangle-shaped one. You can do some weaving in and out of those hearts. These are great for storing baked goods and gifting those. And then around Valentine's Day, they do bring forth all the doilies so you can make those homemade cards. I used to do that with doilies. These are fun little oil warmers they put towards the front of the store. They are usually in the candle section. And then we have a whole selection of little candles over here too. Here is a wall shelf that I've showed you before, but once again, they're pulling all that home decor stuff up front. We have some frames, which actually these might be good for Father's Day. So I might wanna get one of those for later because that kind of stuff does sell pretty fast too. So a lot of different Father's Day picture frames that say Super Dad or World's Greatest Dad. We have a hanging item here with an alphabet so you can make your own message on it. And then they also had these little flowers. They are flower table decor. Lots of different styles in this one and I did see it at pretty much every store I went to so I know this is a new item that has just arrived. Another thing that I've seen in a lot of stores are these little banks. They have different sayings on the front but there's a little opening in the top so you can see your money as it goes and fills up the inside. A really cool way for kids to visually see how they're saving money. We have some desk decor too, and each one of these says a little bit something different. A little corner shelf that you can install yourself and then a perpetual calendar. This is also very cool. Turned the corner and found a really nice end cap filled with all of these fun garden things. Spring is coming and I cannot wait. These little flowers are really fun to put in the garden. They spin. Then we had a lot of theme related items. Now this was gardeny spring theme, craft theme, all mixed into one. There were animal picks, reforms to make your own crafts, wind chimes to paint, decorative items. I mean, there was a lot to see here and I was super impressed with the theme and the selection. It's time to bump up the music just a little bit so you can take a look at what they had. Here's a look at the craft garland in different shapes. I really like the butterfly one of the best. And then speaking of little shapes, I love these for dough tinker kits. They are so cute. You could also use them for other craft items. There's so many in here. They're adorable. You can also paint them too. That would be a lot of fun. A couple more of that bee related theme going on here with the ribbon and the decor. Really do think that they outdid themselves on the bee stuff. Look at this little bucket here with the bee on the outside and they even had honeycombed shaped containers. How adorable is this? At two different stores, I was able to spot these little paint your own pottery kits. Another adorable item. This would be a really cute gift for Mother's Day for your child to paint. A little watering can, a little flower pot, loved it. And because spring is coming up, now is the time that Dollar Tree really stocks up all of their fairy garden things. Oh my goodness, jackpot at many of the different stores I went to. And not only that, they are different than we've seen in the past. Really loving the under the sea theme. I saw a lot of seashells and sea life themed packages. They had gnomes, they had fairies, they had all kinds of little accessories to put into your fairy garden, doors for your fairies. I am here for it. It is so cute.
So if you already have some of the fairy garden items from the Dollar Tree, chances are you're gonna be able to find another accessory to add on to it and to grow it. If you don't see them at your store, definitely check online because I know they have a lot of this online right now. So not only do they have the accessory packages, they did have a lot of the bigger items, the fairy houses, some paintable gnomes here on the bottom, along with some ceramic garden mushrooms. Aren't these fun? These are so cute for your garden. We got a couple of these pinwheels in the different themes in previous years. Absolutely love them. I only saw these in two different stores out of the six, but I have a feeling they're just starting to hit the stores. Now is the time to really stock up on any of the gardening things that you might see. They definitely have the best selection right when they hit the shelves. I found that honeycomb one in the black and white. These little containers are super cute, very Eastery. I love all of these with the different sayings on them. And then there are some repeats from last year. I don't know if these garden tools are any good, but they did have quite the selection. I'm gonna rely on you guys to let me know if they're worth it or not, or if you should just spend the extra money on gardening tools. The gloves are back. These little pot huggers are new and I can't recommend enough these little garden signs we've used those in our garden too these hooks as well are back there's thermometers more gardening tools and even the spinning wind decorations in this section I also found a whole bunch more of those decorations so we'll bump up the music and I'll be right back once again And look, they even have those painting kits and the spring themes already. Moving on, are we ready for St. Patrick's Day? You know, it's not that much longer after Valentine's Day, but we're starting to see a little bit of St. Patrick's Day come into the stores. Every store I went into had a little bit of it. I'm showing you just the selection that they have out now. Lots of socks, lots of scarves, and some decorations are starting to hit the shelves. Pretty soon we'll see a little bit more, a whole aisle's worth usually, but right now this is a selection we have. Some things to look out for are those little black pots that would be great for sensory play and then they also had some really thick cardboard four leaf clovers at some stores too. We're also starting to see a lot of things for the wreath making with all the different ribbons here. These are four leaf clover floral stems which I thought was pretty clever. I don't think we've seen those before. I think those are brand new. Of course you got to have your leprechaun gnomes because gnomes are a thing of Dollar Tree. But since we're talking about St. Patrick's Day and we already did Valentine's Day, what about Easter? It's coming, you guys, and it's coming in slow. Don't worry, I'm not gonna really do a whole video on Easter just yet because I do feel it's a little early. We have the peeps out at this store, but they're still in their boxes. And then another store actually had an end cap full of all the things that are coming. Keep an eye out for these little carrots. They're great for play. And then also, if you like to decorate the little Easter trees, those are coming too. These come in like a white silver. All right, let's go over to the home stuff. I found some really cool little tote bags for organization. And then we have some really large storage boxes. These come in a couple of different colors. It looks like this year we have this kind of aqua teal color and a peach and a gray for our selection. There's matching plastic containers. Do like these, especially when they're a bonus buy because instead of two, you get three. They're all coordinating with those same colors. And then we have some really fun kitchen containers too. This one is for or soup, haven't tried it yet, but I've always been curious. This one is really cute, like a yogurt with a mix-in container on top. And then these little storage containers are perfect for desktop organization. Let's go to the craft section. These have been all over Pinterest, these little reefs with wooden beads, although I don't know what you would do with them. So if you're crafty, maybe you have a really good idea on what to do with them. And then lo and behold, if you are a Cricut crafter, then you know what this is good for. It is a vinyl weeding tool where you can put all of your vinyl scraps in there. These cost a lot more. I was very excited to see these if you get them at a different store. We have some craft fabric. Oh my goodness, lots of fun, different patterns. This is great because you can get a selection of them. I'm not sure the size. I didn't stop to read the package, but I thought these were really, really pretty. We have some glitter, but this time in that fluorescent color set. And then many of the stores 
course have these wooden slices for crafts. Now these come in a couple of different ways. This way right here, the kind of mixed match shape. I found some round ones here and then they're, they're called wood slices. And then we have them kind of in an oblong oval shape too and in a wide wood slice that's much larger. It doesn't come with as many. These were found in the floral section and the craft section depending on which store I was. So if you're looking for them, be on the lookout. But I pretty much saw them in every store that I went to. I also saw a lot of different reforms. This one has three to a package. We have this little kind of wheel shape in the back here, which I think is a new one too. And then also this golden one. So many different wood things to paint and create with. Every store had a little bit something different. So I'll just kind of show you some of the things that I ran across. This insert card set is a new find too. It's basically blank cards that you can craft with. This was kind of a gold color. We have some crafting paper sets where it has all kinds of different designs on. This one's like a wood, woodland animal set. And then I found this one that has sayings on them. In the office section, I didn't find too much, but in one store, I found a whole bunch of new stuff for the corner office line. This is kind of an upscale elevated office supply section. Then I also found this eco-friendly stuff. Now it said it was made with recycled materials. I guess that's what makes it eco-friendly, but they had a whole bunch of that. I'm gonna show you some more in just a second. Back to that corner office, lots of goldish colored office accessories, paper clips that are heart shaped and binder clips in a couple of different sizes. Really really pretty. These are wire hooks to go with the wire frame. Look at this. This is pretty cool. And I had to try it out. There are different accessories to use on it. This is an adhesive cork pad foam board. Not sure about that one. I think you can hang that on a wall. Here's some more of those eco-friendly pen sets. And then here are the pieces that go on that frame. So let me hang up something real quick and hang this on there so you can see how it works. Now here is the large basket, which just hooks right onto the frame. They also had a smaller basket and a shelf. It just hooks right on there and you can configure this in any way you want. So cute, so fun. Very impressed with this. I think this is an amazing find and it looks so nice. I can't hold a lot of stuff on these, but it will look really pretty to put a few things here and there. And as I went down the shelf, I did find some more of those eco-friendly materials and pens, a little pencil pouch that looks like cork board, some more of those cork bases, and then some highlighters in a couple of different colors, along with some sets of pens that are from the INC ink brand. If you like the corner office stuff, I was really surprised in one store to find two different colors of the paper trays, which makes me believe that more of these colors are coming to the corner office section. So be on the lookout for that. It's just a really cool line. I'm very impressed. A few office finds that I wanted to mention are these little magnetic hooks. I think these are a really great value. And then we also have some fun labels here that you can use for just about anything. Also a really good find. Some little magnet conversation holders. They look like little conversation bubbles. I think you can put pictures in here. They were just hanging. I wanted to show you guys because they're new. Moving on to the toy section, not a lot here that is new, but I did see some new cars that I wanted to show you. I'm not sure if this is an off brand or a name brand as we don't have a lot of cars in our house. They did have some of the little police sets. These come two to a package, so a car plus an accessory, fire engine plus a raft, a police car plus a trailer. So these are great for Imagine to play. They did have the Hot Wheels monster trucks in one out of the six stores I went to. I've been seeing this on Instagram. Apparently this is a really good find and then some fun dough stampers so you get the dough but then you get a stamper and one of the licensed characters i love blue blue is my favorite so so cute 
And I was really sad to see these. I mean, they're cool and I like them and we use them. They're the mini figure dupes. There's only three to a package now. These used to come four to a package and then around Christmas time you can get five. I hope that this is not going to be a continued thing. Some really interesting puzzles that you color yourself. And these are in all of the PBS licensed characters that we've been seeing. So there's a little bit of Arthur, a little bit of Dinosaur Train, Wild Kratz, and you just color it and then you can do your puzzle. Kind of partial to the Arthur myself. I really do like Arthur. This is a new item that I have not seen before. It is a, a car hauler. And what's cool is this one comes in different colors. So according to the back, it looks like it actually moves. We'll have to check that out and see if that is true. I saw a yellow, there was a green and also a red one in this set. I did find these sets, but I definitely feel like these were around years ago, but they were called something else. So they're more of like a technique kind of a building brick where you have to screw together pieces. There's some metal pieces in there too. I think these are great for the older kids who like to put together things. Although I do remember them being around before, but not marketed as this brand. I showed you this before in a previous Dollar Tree shop with me. It's an accessory case for fashion dolls, but I also want to show you they have the pieces that could go in them to make a really cool closet. These have been around for a while, but I wanted to show you that they are back in stores again. I might use these in a dough kit. Can you believe I found a spot activity book at Dollar Tree? This is amazing. Very pleased to see this, although I didn't see many other new books. In the teacher section, I was really hoping to find some new stuff. Dollar Tree, why aren't you replenishing this section? It's the best section ever, but I did find a whole bunch of kindness themed items. This is a kindness bingo. There were two different styles in here. There's just little actions on there to be kind. I think this is brilliant, which makes me hopeful that some really fun emotional behavior activities are coming to the teacher section at Dollar Tree. Then I found these kindness links, which are little wristbands, or you can link them together. I thought this was really cute. This also came in two different styles. And then just because I was in the section, I found some Pete the Cat stickers. Um, these are cute. So I just had to show you. I think I'm gonna post a haul on this one, so stay tuned for a Dollar Tree haul on my channel. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.